Hello everyone, it's Jessie. Um, it's been a pretty long time since I've made an update, so I thought I would do that. I uh, just woke up, so I'm a little bit groggy, so please bear with me. Um, it's been almost 11, no, it's been 11 months since I had top surgery. Uh, so almost a year, which is crazy. And it's been about five months since I had that revision. Um, so I'll show you. Uh, yeah, so I had the revision because I had extra fat on the sides. It's kind of like, it's kind of like that. Um, but it's better now. Um, my chest is doing really good. The scars are pretty thin. Uh, they didn't stretch out too much. Nipples are good. So this nipple feels like my old nipple. And this one doesn't feel like anything. Actually, it kind of hurts to touch it. But they both get hard and soft. Um, I still don't have feeling over here. I can feel under here, but here and then over here, no feeling. Uh, it, it is getting better. Uh, I used to have used to be numb all the way up on my shoulder, so it is still getting better, and I still get, like, pain and itchiness there, which I think means that the feeling is still coming back. Hopefully I'll get normal feeling in this nipple. Um, yes, so it's been really amazing to not have boobs. Um, it feels really right and really comfortable. <clears throat> um, like, the dang video cut off. Um, anyway, yeah, it feels really comfortable. Um, every single day, I feel thankful to have had surgery. I feel my shirt on my skin, feel the breeze in my shirt, just not having to bind in hot weather or cold weather. Just everything feels better. Wearing clothes feels so much better. Being naked feels like I'm not even naked. It just feels so comfortable. Um, yeah, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made for myself. It's been, it's been great. I haven't, I've only had one time where I was laying on my back in bed being like, I miss my boobs, because I used to touch them because they were soft, but that lasted about two minutes. Um, and I mean, I can always just, I mean, these aren't really as soft as my boobs used to be, but this is how I used to look. Um, in other life updates, I am living in the UK, in Bristol, in England. Um, if anyone else lives in Bristol or near Bristol, you should send me a message so we can hang out. Um, I have been thinking a lot more about testosterone. Uh, I've been going to therapy here in Bristol. 
um, I found free uh, LGBT therapy. So I've been going and talking about testosterone. Um, I feel like it's a really complicated decision. I'll talk about it in another video though, so I don't make this video like 20 minutes long. Um, I've been using gender neutral pronouns since about December, I think. Um, and that's been really good. I It did take me a couple months to get used to it. I was still using female pronouns for myself in my head for a while um, but then once I got used to it it felt really good um, yeah I feel like being in the UK has in some ways put a bit of a hold on possible transition stuff it's a bit harder to explain to people that I want to use gender neutral pronouns here. Um, the community, the queer community and general community in Toronto seem to be a, not, a lot more knowledgeable on that kind of stuff so it was really comfortable and really easy to be trans there. Um, it does feel a little bit harder here but going to therapy has been good. Um, yeah, so I'll make another video maybe in a week from now, talk about testosterone feelings, uh, but for now I think I'll stop, and uh, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon.